on. It was two years ago and we met at the shows. And then when you're talking, like, well, I'll be there in two years' time, it seems so far away. It seems a long time ago. And now it's here. So. Um. And uh, we've got some good weather lined up the week ahead. You shot great in the rain, so everything's looking good. Nice open list, a nice variety of game on the list. So yeah. I think we're going to have fun this week and yeah, really exciting. take our chances and get a good bag of animals harvested. So welcome here and I it's going to be, it. gonna be a great week together. Yeah. John, we can see a few animals around the ponds. There's some impala rams there, a little bachelor herd at that first pond there. If you look there, you'll see them feeding. And then the second pond in front of us is more impala and that looks like a lone gemsbuck with them. This is a, a hot spot. It's the main water source in a big area here, these ponds. So if you a warm day like today, we'll expect this area to really liven up over the next hour or so. John, we still see a bunch of impala and that gemsbuck moving down there. So let's go slowly down off here. But we're in prime time now, a lot of game will start moving more and more, kudu and that, so we'll walk slowly, there's a good chance we see something else along the road that we haven't seen yet, so we're going to walk straight toward that pond down there. Beautiful, got his full turns on him, long ivory tips, he's got his horns are kind of up in that tree, but he looks at first glance like a really nice bull. Reload. You're going to have to put another one in him. And just put it in him anywhere you can. Okay, right, he's gone in him. A big kudu ball. Thank you. Good job, sir. Oh my god. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. A classic. Yeah. Perfectly symmetrical. Old bull, look at this, yeah, those deep grooves, it's all just secondary growth. Nice thick neck on him. Good job, sir. Yeah. Good job. First shot a little high. First shot was a little bit back. He was walking away, and then like I said to you, if I put something into him, and that was actually a pretty perfect shot. You can see this lung blood coming out there. Yeah. He walked up here, and you put it in perfectly, in here, angling in, and we got the lungs. So, just a bit of rigor mortis coming out there. And here he is, sir. Awesome. In like that. Africa treated me well. Good job, sir. <laughs> Thank good you. Job, it was a good day. John, just a few minutes ago, we were talking about the fog lifting. It was closed here maybe 15 minutes ago. Suddenly lifted and a lot of game moving. You can see Blessbuck running there. We saw Elan, Wildebeest, we saw Zebra behind here. Got a little bit of tree cover here we can utilize. So we're just going to see where the game is moving to and use these trees and see if we can get up onto something here. Our tracker sitting on the hill says that just over here, that bowl I was telling you about, there's quite a lot of game in there. So we're just going to keep going like this. As we pop over here, it'll be a gradual bowl there and there's a lot of stuff hiding in there. So we'll just pop over there and we'll get onto something. There he's walking again. He's going to stand nicely for us. Thank you, thank you. Beautiful blessed by Graham. So it, it <laughs> developed once again. We're going to be a wildebeest shot, <laughs> maybe a harder beast, a big herd, yeah, but the herds were quite skittish this morning and the blessed by cooperated. They weren't paying much attention. We lay behind the stone. They didn't see us coming from a distance, so they were kind of settled there and stood out there long enough. We were able to get set up and get a shot. Oh man. Beautiful ram. 
Check it out, gentlemen. How's that? Oh, wow. Beautiful. 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 That is beautiful. Yeah, this is sort of age. They start getting this white showing through. You see that there, John? And then this down here is just secondary growth with the first rings here and this kind of a post here. Beautiful classic shape. Magnificent old Lesbuck. Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, awesome. You can see here is your entry hole here. So with this quarter on, you know, it looks like you're off by that much, but with a quarter on, we that much off, but here was a far shot too at that angle. Angled him right here. So good job, Sean. Thank you. Pleasure. It sir. was awesome. Absolutely. Super pleasure. fun. If we lie down here, can we see those or are we too low? Square in the middle of the group facing us. There's some walking past him right now. He's one quartering away now. Okay, now you're going to put it on the front shoulder and you're going to hit him in the crease. Perfect. Perfect. I'm watching him. I'm watching him. Okay, he's in my scope. I can see him. Going down. Going down. Down. See the cloud of dust? <laughs> That's a tough shot, Johnny. 490 yards. So. Yeah, that's him kicking up dust there in the middle of the herd. I'm still recording. You can see him on the screen here, sir. Oh, oh yeah. That's him there in the middle. See that? That's awesome. Oh, good job, sir. Thanks. Black will be spooled down. Well, John, I can see the blood on the shoulder from here, quartering oh, away at perfect that shot. distance, about as perfect as you're going to get. Wow, they're bigger than, than I thought. <laughs> wow. It's quartering away. I said you put it on the shoulder, right to left wind, drifted about eight inches, mm -hmm. hit it in the crease. Perfect. Yeah. Check it out. Magnificent. Wow. wow, look at that. See that cracked up bosses and all that's just age, but great mass and length on this bull, but of everything a proper black wilderness. Wow. Congrats, eh? Thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. That was wow. That's an awesome animal. Very cool, very different looking, got this kind of a mohawk on his front there like a yeah um and then the beard running all the way down the, the bottom of his jaw oh look at that pretty cool yeah so there you have the black wildebeest oh that's, that is an awesome animal look at that it's got a big mohawk all the way through it's the same heart of us we that was here he just trotted around to there. It's I mean, it's an old bull. That whole herd of blessed buck and zebra just up here. There's a good chance those zebra and blessed buck come back here toward this hillside above the pond here. They're feeding, kind of angling toward us. They've turned around and put their noses into the wind, but we've got a crosswind here. And you just can't see them now, John, but they're going to come out here in this yellow grass. can see this area through the trees. Yeah, just take your time, squeeze a shot off. You're standing in the middle there. Heard the solid thud, I'm just watching it. They don't know we are. They've run into that sun so we won't even be able to see them in the scopes now. Down he goes. It's tough. I mean, we found a tiny patch of shade here to try and help with the glare, but if we went any further right, we would have just been looking into the sun. It wouldn't have been possible to see. But he's lying there flat, John. Yeah, the wonderful thing about when game don't know you're around, they don't have a clue where the shot's coming from. So our first shot hit liver, perfect height. He just trotted a bit up and then he had no clue. We had to shift five yards right. Another shot at him and they dropped him over there. So your zebra stallion is down. So good job. spot is exactly where we took the zebra shot. We all stood up. I feel like the zebra's not standing 
far. I mean, they are not laying far from there, exactly. And we were just about to walk over there, and we saw harder beast heads up there, and they came walking over. And I tell you what, we had to just wait a while, but it paid off. Yeah, it basically and paid off. For got sure. a lovely old harder beast bull down there. Good job, sir. That's right, Maisie. There's a zebra down. See, so I'm aiming right here, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> zebra stallion. Yeah. First shot a little bit back. But it's that angle you were standing at in there, hit the liver with that shot. And then luckily he didn't go far at all. We got into a position and we could get another shot on him. So there's your zebra. Awesome. And then from the same position we got lucky yeah. and harder beast came trundling over. Shot back up here and we were within eyesight of the harder beast. So two down in one spot this afternoon. And fortunately in the um, just enough time before the sun sets to load these animals, gentlemen. <laughs> ancient, ancient old bull. Come check it out, Johnny. Beautiful. Magnificent. Check the bases, yeah, they rubbed smooth, chipped up a bit, classic shape, points kicking out a bit, and beautiful, deep red color tone to him. Good job, sir. Thank Your you so much. First African animal. Yeah. And there it is, a wonderful red. Part of beast food, sir. John, off the bat, as we've got here, I can see Kudu feeding there. If you come and you look straight across here, in the bottom there, there's like patches of light dirt. Yeah. in between the thick stuff, that right-hand circle patch of dirt. Just look around there, there's a bunch of kudu cows feeding there. That bull, MG saw a bull walk in here with a cow. Just got into a tight patch, probably just feeding in there. Some nice tall trees here. We're just gonna walk here, 20 yards stand in these tall trees in the shadows. And just give it time. They haven't seen us or anything. We stay, we stay low here. Yeah. We have to go through these trees. It does make a shelf off here. We'll find a nice platform to lie down and get a nice prone shot. Um, he's just sunning himself now, chewing his cud. And he's standing perfectly for a shot. But we ride it like, 400 yards or so is where this is going to be over here. We're going to go forward a bit and get down there and lie down. Let's see him across there still. In the cluster of trees. That bull was sunning himself and he just turned, walked into the first shadow, lay down and bedded up through there. Impala disappeared into this thicket in front of us, but it's very open that side. Perhaps I'll walk out there. Uh -uh. Shot under him, I think, unless the bullet passed through. No, he, yeah, he's crashing. The shot sounded like the bullet hit a stone. Oh, you got him, guys. Yeah. I called it a miss because I clearly heard stone but that bullet must have whistled clean through and hit the stone probably he down yo know, he ran into a thicket and he never came down and there he crashed into trees and then he made it through the tree and impala is agile it's not going to just crash into trees right, right. and then he went slow and he never came out that side so i'm 90 percent sure you got it take your odds <laughs> <laughs> good job john thank you like I said, I called it miss off the bat, but then I saw how it ran through the trees. Like, nah, that bullet's whistled right through. The sound of us hearing rock hit, that was a pass through. And we just confirmed the impala's down. Let's go check it out. I mean, look at that. And you guys, what, it crashed into this tree. Yeah, you took the heart out of that shot. Look at that, low on the shoulder. And a classic, classic impala ram. Good job, sir, look at that. Old ram, you can tell by the crimp bases here. Heavy horns, 
and just a beautiful classic common impala yeah old uh, wound literally it's yeah. nose is off yeah the old, the old spectrum impala firstly they said you got this crimping on the horn here you see it comes down and you see that like collar there it's like a post to secondary growth and that's just the first indicator of proper age um, and I mean when you see teeth like that those are really starting to go. He's kind of below what we try and shoot as a minimum for Impala trophy lengths, you know. So this ram, although he's got the square shape, um, he's probably 17 inches, maybe 18 inches. And we try to shoot like 21 up for kind of trophy. Um, so yeah, he's a few inches shy. If he was kind of like that, he'd be considered a trophy ram. Also a bit narrow, like if you look, his ear tips are out here is quite well inside the ears so good management animal <laughs> Gems back in the trees here, and mm -hmm. um, the wind's all totally wrong. This road goes <laughs> over, and that high point you can just walk along there and come over that bench, and we should get a good look at them there, and they won't be too far. But yeah, the wind obviously is totally wrong. This other impala we saw went down here, so we just need to get around that side so at least we got the wind right. See, there's a drop off here. You can see the naked eye, and there's a big herd of impala, and then we saw from the bottom side up there were gems back down here so we've got to go very carefully over here try to stay probably behind this big bush so they don't see us silhouetted on the skyline and we'll put the scope on these gems back and see what's here two standing down there it's the lower closer one and the one that's kind of on the left looking at us we'll wait for it to turn okay it's going to walk a few yards it's the one walking now His head's partially covered by the tree, he's standing, you can see his whole body. Okay, you've hit him solidly. I'm watching him, we hit him a little bit back, but I can see him. I'm gonna keep my eyes on him. Good job, big John. Good job, brother. <laughs> Tell you what, it's... That was a tough shot. Yeah, standing on sticks at 300, hit him a bit back, but... It looked more gut, but it must have hit liver because he ran another 300 yards and lay down. Yeah, put him down. Good job, awesome. sir. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Awesome Gamespark bull. Well, John, we got our Gamespark bull. Shot him at 300 yards. And yeah, ran. we walked up here with the dogs just in case because we couldn't really see him too well and see uh, if he was definitely down. But um, we got here and he was rolled over, stone dead. So. Stone dead. I know Gensberg was one that you wanted from the beginning and mm -hmm. yeah, got a beautiful bull for you, so. Very yeah. happy, thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. There's a kudu bull across there, but it's in that thicker stuff. Um, there's some cows further left, so I think this move is another cliff to our right, a few hundred yards, so we'll be much closer. I think that hillside's more sheltered than here, so uh, there's definitely more kudu activity there. Let's just move along and go and I've marked that spot well there. Let me just watch that spot and see what that kudu looks like. He's definitely an old bull, but I didn't see him long enough in the open. He was feeding across and we into some thick stuff. So we'll head that way and go and see if we can spot him. leave the spot till the morning because now we've got a solid address of a really good kudu bull and this is also the morning light sunrise behind our back will be lighting this hillside up that bull won't go far there's one water hole to our left here if he drinks he'll be in this area still he'll stay up there 
we won't leave this canyon undisturbed. So we put a solid effort in this afternoon, but the combination of the thick brush and running out of light is one at the end of the day. So let's just gather our stuff and walk out behind us and leave this place quiet. of the crime from yesterday evening. We were, we were down there and we saw the bulls there. I wish we would come to this bench and glass and put a nice morning light on this hillside. So we're just going to glass there and see if we pick these bulls up here somewhere. So John, this is the Obviously the same area we sat last night and then to our left where we saw that really nice trophy bull and there he was walking with two other bulls, um, smaller management bulls. Now straight across from us here is a bull that stepped out here. Yeah. Old bull, it's definitely in the management class. Um, yeah, we'll just keep an eye on him. If, they, if we can't find that big bull, we may consider shooting this management bull. For the shot now, John, you get to tuck it to the right hand edge of that bush. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. yeah, so take it off safe and just squeeze that shot off whenever you're ready. Perfect hit. John, everything looks good. So. We waited, yeah, a solid Shots hour. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the whole time we said we've got time and a wait for him to come out perfect, but as time went on, you started worrying about him lying down there somewhere. It's hot, the sun's shining on that slope, it's getting to the time they want to bed. He came out and he was still feeding, um, and that whole shoulder crease area was obscured with a shadow, but he jumped straight up, put his tail up. Um, and he took off with absolute speed of like a death run. Went up, turned, down, but it looks good. So, uh, I saw the second bull and he's just walking, looking around, which means he can't hear the other bull running, so he, that's why he's not just going. If he heard the other bull running, he'd be following him. So it's quite a thick area there, so it, we're going to go around, get to the bottom, and I've marked a few big trees there. We have to walk around a bit and find that track eventually. But under the tree canopy, there's quite a bit. So we lost that bull in here somewhere, but we did mark exactly the trees where we shot. So we're going to go there, find his track, and follow his track. Well, we didn't even get as far as to where we were going. <laughs> Come look here. <sighs> Kudu bull lying dead. <laughs> we were just planning on going there and taking every precaution. And yeah, the bull is, he didn't make it far at all, John. Exactly what we said, we called it correctly. There we go, sir. It looked every bit a death run going down there. And we saw dust flying and he never came out the thicket and that second bull left. But there is your kudu bull. Yeah. Good job, sir. Yep, it's exactly what we're saying. We came out this morning, we had put a bull to bed last night. Unfortunately, we couldn't find that bull, but this beautiful management bull came out. Classic shape in that, just a little bit short, and a nice old bull. He came out and we watched him for a while, presented well, and he made a perfect shot. He jumped up and the indicators were all good that he was death running. And here he is. He didn't go probably 60 yards from where we were gonna go and look for his track now. So perfect. Good job, John. Thank you, John. Absolute pleasure, sir. Been a pleasure. Um, John has joined us as the rest of his crew are looking for Kudu this morning. So we're looking for Blessbuck and Red Heart to Beast and Impala. So we spotted a bunch up this draw here. We're going to follow the brush line as far as we can. Then we're going to have to go out into the open and 
crawl a little bit. So right. let's go and see what we can find. <laughs> So we found a good number of red hartebeest bulls. Um, there's some cows as well um, in the mix there, but they're just moving ahead of us all the time, probably around about six, seven hundred yards now. Um, there's a little rise that they're going to walk over, so there's some brush that we can kind of get behind. So let's just wait for them to go over that rise and out of sight, and then we can follow them and try and surprise them. Well done. Thank you. Congratulations. That was great. Well done, little John. Thank you. <laughs> That's a beauty. Oh, man. Absolutely stunning. Oh. So you see these guys, when they get old like this, um, they turn this maroon color. Um, and he really stuck out from the group. He was by far the darkest bull. Yep. And uh, you can see exactly why. You can see how his base of have worn smooth and uh, he's got secondary growth going on here. His tips have broomed down a little bit. And uh, yeah, they often frequent the open plains as we saw. And we followed these guys for about two miles. Yeah. And he was initially in the front and just wouldn't give us a shot. But uh, eventually after persistence, he kind of lagged back and uh, we got a nice broadside shot on him. So yeah, well done, you got yourself a beautiful red artifice. Beautiful, thank you so much for the opportunity. John, you can see in front of us a lot of stuff here. Here's some blessed back appearing there. He's gonna walk over this rise here, um, and you just see if we lie down, there's a big herd here, so they're gonna start walking out. Let's just get over this rise and lie down and watch and see if they're within range. You see he's turned there now. Okay, so you see, don't shoot yet. You see kind of where the crease would be. Okay, you're gonna squeeze it off on his crease. Got him. It's the back one, he's falling. He just fell over. That's the best case scenario when you've set up and can get a prone shot and you're lying down prone and you've kind of know the area and then the animal steps out. And get on him and he has no clue you're there so worked out yeah Good. ancient ram <laughs> come check out yeah how even his ridges are kind of wearing off yeah old fighter check it up pretty awesome lots of gray on his face very bashed up look at the paces here very very bashed up so wonderful ram sir great mass ancient animal classic shape Shot hit back lung into liver. He has the bullet sitting here right on the liver and was other side a little bit there about. So pretty much textbook shot. Just off the crease and did the trick. So I know Bless Buck, we, this morning we saw them at distance. Got really hot suddenly. I wasn't sure if they would cooperate. And um, yeah, we got lucky with this one. Managed to actually get a nice prone shot on him and got a great old ram. So good job. Great hunt. John, we saw some springbuck down there. 
common springbok is quite bright, you can see them quite clearly. Um, the tree height's quite perfect for us just to walk upright. Now keep ducking underneath the canopy, try to spot them. From these next trees, may hopefully we'll see them, we can make a plan, but it's a nice brisk quartering wind here, which is good, it will help um, our scent obviously, but our sound too. So let's just keep walking in a straight line. I'm gonna keep, if I spot them, I'm gonna keep lining trees up between us and them. Black springbok straight through there feeding. It saw some movement, but it was looking straight into the sun. Let's put its head down, you can see it there, it's feeding again. So, unlikely that it's just one by itself being a female. Let's just look carefully and see if we can spot more there. They're walking to the left, we've got to go around the other side of this tree, get in the shade, will also cover us up a bit. Yeah. yeah, he is to our right, he's going down, see yeah. a cloud of dust. Yeah. There he is in down, he's flopped over, off. good job. Johnny. Yeah. Oh, good job mate. <laughs> We're having a tremendous day. Yeah. A lot of different shooting styles and uncomfortable. You put your knee straight down in one of the most awful little cactuses we have. This is a baby piece, but that is the jumping cactus. And this guy's got barbs. And you put your knee straight into multiple segments of that. <laughs> So, the springbok are twitchy in this wind, and we saw common and black, and uh, we haven't been seeing many blacks at all. Except, you know, it's less chance of finding another black. Let's take him off. Check here, this, just before we look at the horns, this is their pronk. They flare this hair up when they see predators, try and make themselves look bigger in body size, and usually as the whole nervous system shuts down, this pronk opens up and then closes again. But check out that whole big fan of hair there. And you don't normally see that when they're just walking along, they keep it flat. So that's beautiful. But there you have it. It's a black springbok, pretty much charcoal color with this blaze white over here. It's pretty. So, yeah, pretty. got your ram, sir. Thank you, sir. Good job. Yeah. Good shooting. It's not a, not a big target at all in this crosswind. John, we, the springbok we saw from the top are straight off this ledge here. We're going to keep cutting like this, if we can get that sun mostly behind us, be wind in our face, sun on our back, we've got a massive advantage. If you look there, it's at that height where it's really blinding, so it help for them not to see us that well. It will blind them quite a lot, so we're going to keep heading off here. Just off this ledge, we'll slow down and start making our way around. We should find them feeding down here. They're 160 from us now. There are those rams we saw from the top. Two mature rams in the middle of the group. There's some blacks there too, but it's a, a black ram. It looks a bit young to me, but I'll have another good look at him. And uh, two black female. But uh, the, they're all around 160 from us. Whew, that was a difficult shot. <laughs> there are many shots that clients take in my mind I think I don't think I could make this shot <laughs> I hope he can <laughs> good Wind job was intense. good job Wind big John really thank you tell you what we had this tripod pinched up so it's very unstable on the highs and go because I mean they don't make tripod for, for <laughs> real men like you <laughs> but you got him that is the national animal it's a little guy lots of um, color on him and very twitchy so there you have it. Awesome. Good job. Thank you. Pleasure. We've just got to walk here. It, it drops off here and in the spalls where we saw those game spikes. We just go to these trees. I'm going to keep checking though. There was one higher up. Make sure he doesn't um, see us. There, there are two mature bulls here. One's really nice, the other one's a bit short. And there's a cow with a calf. But you can clearly see the cow and I'll show it to you. But they're, deaf, they're within our range from here. 
so we just gotta we're gonna take a nice sitting shot here we're gonna, we've got to keep low again so his eyes are tremendously good we're gonna stay low go through these trees here it's got to go 10 more yards and sit down between the trees and have a nice shot they're feeding into the open facing away head turned around scratching himself yeah now he's like facing his head's facing left the one we want is just five yards to his left behind that bush, but he should step out nice and perfectly broadside for us there. Okay, you see that shoulder? Okay, take it off safe, squeeze it off on the shoulder. Okay, you understand? Wait, you just hop left. And come out again. Okay, he's gonna turn, he's gonna start eating there. Okay, up that front leg, on the middle of the shoulder, squeeze it off. Sure. Great, great, great. He pole axed him, dropped him right there. Connected that front of the shoulder, base of the neck, angling in there because they're kind of quartering on. Good job, Johnny. <laughs> we said that Gemspuck was a high priority. And last night said for the last day, there's some rain blowing in and that. If we can get a Gemspuck, that would be amazing. And we got a lovely Gemspuck bull, so. Proper bull, sir. Check that out. <laughs> Good job, mate. Tell you what, you, sir. we left it to the last day, but it was worth it to get a bull like this. Big body, made a textbook shot. Check there, some bullet actually is sitting under the skin here on his shoulder. There's your whole bullet sitting under the skin. So it was that tight quarter, front of the neck sitting on the shoulder. Broke the base and neck into the chest. Perfect. But a hell of a bull. Brilliant, good, good quality games, but. Impala just hopped in those trees, but I don't think they would have run over. I think they would have paused in there somewhere. We're too low yet to see them. Right? Just get behind these big trees here. They ran off to our left, but those Impala's tracks go to this angle, so. Just got to keep heading into the way. Left from him, so you come left oh, once more. Pretty good. Okay. On the shoulder, squeeze it off. Now. Just take your time, breathe out, squeeze that shot off. Low on the shoulder. <laughs> got him. Good, good hit. Sword hit that middle of the ribs. That'll take him down for sure. I don't think that's him. I think those are others. It just, it oh, ran yeah, left. Probably. Yeah, the others are all coming out. I'll watch them in my scope. There it comes. <laughs> well, John, it ran straight across, barely maybe 60 yards. You can see the shot there, pretty perfect. Pepe, enough, enough. P perfect elevation. You know, the shoulder being like that. It's just behind there in the crease. So expired, ran straight here. We lost sight of him in here, but we were all pretty confident after looking at the footage. So beautiful, heavy old ram. Old, old bugger, cracked up there. Nice crimping at the bottom there. Just an old boy. So there you have it, sir. Your Impala Ram. Thank you. I tell you what, we had a lovely break in the weather here, contrary to all predictions, and we managed to have some productive hunting this morning with first that Gemspark this morning, and now the Wolf Impala. Good job, partner. Good job. Well, gentlemen, what a fantastic last day. John, you wanted a Gemspark, and last day left it down the wire, but uh, it was worth it. We ended up getting a tremendous bull. And then came out looking for an impala. It looked like the forecast was going to be correct and start flood raining. Closed in for a little bit, and we we're panicking to try to get the impala hunt over with. And we managed to get onto these rams, but it cleared up, and you made a great shot and got a lovely impala ram. But those are just two of many animals we've taken this week, and been a heck of a great trip and getting to know you guys and spending time here with all the all the jokes and talking the truck and. Uh, you know all the different kind of hunts we did so yeah you know it's been a pleasure guys likewise and yeah till we can see Thanks you so again much. thank you thank Enjoy you it was travels. awesome what yep. a great time awesome.